one of the main reasons for all the connection problems in Black Ops is, is the fact that your PS3 is probably set out of the box to connect automatically to your network. Now when it does that it, it uses a DHCP server off your router which auto allocates it an IP address which is fine but uh, for some types of NAT, in, in, especially on online gaming, it can cause problems. Now I've forced mine to be on DHCP so I can show you how to change it to a static IP address. First thing you need to do is go to settings, down to network settings and the top option if you press that settings and connection status list that will actually show you what you've currently got set. So you can see here I'm on a wide connection now this is the important bit, my address setting is set to automatic, that means my router is giving me an IP address from the DHCP pool, which happens to be .100 within that subnet. Uh, my router, my secondary DNS which I've set myself, uh, and the primary, which again has come from the router. You can see down the bottom of your type 2 for the NAT type, that can vary and sometimes it can be 3. If it is then you've got a problem because it, you need to play with some of the settings on your router. But mine's set to type 2 because I've previously had it had set correctly. Uh, another thing is you want to leave UPnP available. If you've got it turned on on your router, which as default it usually is. <coughs> what that means is the PS3 will connect and it will open whichever ports it needs to be able to connect to the PlayStation Network, your router will actually allow that. Uh, so okay, mine's set to automatic. Now the thing is you need to, you really do need to know what your DHCP pool is for it to allocate your IP address. But the best thing to, on the safe side, because we're in this subnet mask here, that gives us like 253 or 54, I forget what it is, uh, IP addresses. The chances are your DHCP is only set for about 20, 30, so, so all you need to do is set it a fixed IP address with the same, for, on my instance, the first same three numbers, and the last number needs to be changed to something else. You can't set it to 1, obviously my DHC pool is probably set from 100 to 120 or something, and you can go to 255. So I would suggest on this instance, you know, set it to 192.168.1.200 for instance. Just make a note of what you've set it to. <coughs> the other thing you'll need is your DNS settings. If you've got any statically set what you create yourself, like I have, then you make a note of them because you'll need them. Otherwise you just use the IP address of your router, which you also need to make a note of. Mans.1. Right, so now we need to change them settings to static. So in the same settings, network settings menu, go down to internet connection settings. It's going to disconnect me. <coughs> now make sure you don't choose easy. You need to now go to custom. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm on a wired connection. It doesn't matter which for this, but uh, obviously I would suggest a wired connection which is more reliable. Tell it not to auto detect because that's what it's doing as standard. You need to go to manual settings. You could leave that on auto detect but I like to force mine to half duplex 100. IP address setting again it will default to automatic. Make sure you go to manual in the middle. <clears throat> now this is where you set them, them settings so you need to give it a fixed IP address. So I click an IP address. I'll just quickly set mine. I just wish it went a bit faster. 192.168 man's dot one. The chances are your your IP address range will be 192.168.0 and then a number. What these this mask means below is it ignores all of them first three numbers. Because that's everything on the same network. So it's, you're only concentrating on these last two numbers anyway. But I've changed my, <coughs> my network is set to dot one. So this is where you change that last number. Now I know I've already got mine as a fixed IP address which I know is 21. So, but like I say I would suggest if you 
if you know how to get onto the, <coughs> the admin interface of your router, get on there and find out what IP address range your DHC pool is set to. Otherwise, set it something quite high, the chances are nothing else is going to be used that. So, like 200. So we've done that. Uh, subnet mask is automatically set for me. Default router, this is where you need to put the IP address of your router from the settings, which more than likely is going to be 192. Do, do, do. Come on. 168.0.1. That but because I've changed my network, mine is 1.1. Now for the DNS, again if you've got some DNS routers you like to use yourself, I like to use Open DNS, put them in there. Otherwise, again, just put your router address in there for the primary. And that's it, you don't have to worry about secondary, but again, if you use Open DNS or something, you might want to put both of the two DNS servers from Open DNS in there quite handy and I normally do that but for this exercise I shan't. Right once you put all them in press X and you'll see the little arrow push to the right. Uh, again MTU you can leave it on automatic. Proxy server set it to do not use. UPMP enable and it's just going to give you an overview of your settings so you can see it's internet connection wired 100 and there's my IP address da -da -da -da. UPMP enabled, press enter, and then you can test connection. And if everything's worked okay, then you should have a live connection. There we go. Yeah, NAT type. So, NAT type 2 is what you're trying to aim for. NAT type 1 you would only get if you were actually physically connected to the internet, not through a router. And there's my crappy UK internet connection. Which I suppose isn't too bad. Right, and then it's just back you go. If you want to just double check that everything's okay, you can click on there, and that's it. That's how to set a fixed IP address. There are some other settings you can change on your router, but I'll put them in a separate video. Thank you.